Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about top 10 VS Code extension which will help you to code faster and even better. And even that, there is one extension in this list that will help you to build logic also. Like it will auto complete your code. Okay, like auto whole function will be completed by this extension. So let's just start with the list. So first come is Prettier. So Prettier does the code formatting and makes your code more readable and beautiful so suppose your closing and ending braces are in the same line so prettier will make opening braces in the first line and closing in the last line it just makes your code more beautiful second comes github copilot so github copilot is a kind of extension which everyone can't get you have to apply then github will access your repository verify if you can have it or not i don't know the criteria it take around one month then they give you access and this extension like if you are writing a suppose a some program maybe a some function so that add two numbers it will auto complete the whole function you don't even write anything it will just auto complete it it's just a really cool extension but it may be uh, payable after some time because it's currently in preview mode but i really use it and i really like that extension number three comes auto closing and auto rename tag maybe you are not a html developer but sometime in life you use html so auto closing tag is like you write the first tag and the second tag will automatically come up and renaming if you want to change div tag to maybe head tag so if you change the first tag to head it will automatically change the last tag to head now third comes sorry third not fourth fourth comes is thunder client and rest client so thunder client and rust client are testing for apis so you may be using postman but postman is itself a very heavy app so you have to like eventually run a different app in vs code okay along with vs code but this thunder client and rest client you can run in the same environment of your vs code and you can test apis for my personal reasons i use thunder client instead of rest client because thunder client is more like a postman now fifth come the live server live server is basically if you writing html css or any other app so live server will build you a server for you even you don't have any server so it just builds in the vs code itself so that's also a really cool extension sixth come excel viewer so sometime in life you have used maybe sheets maybe excel maybe csv files you use i mean for whatever reason you come up across that so this vs code extension excel viewer will help you to view the excel file in the vs code only with the like whole columns and everything with filters and everything you can apply there so that's a really cool extension you don't have to use ms excel for that now the seventh come code spell checker so what code spell checker does it checks your spelling of your code it doesn't find any bug but the spelling check so suppose maybe you have written uh, turn turn maybe your variable name in turn and you return turni by mistake so it will tell okay it doesn't looks like a normal word should it be turn or turni only so it helps you in code checking okay like spell checking i'll say now the eighth come is remote ssh so maybe you have uh, in life you have used the uh, remote connections maybe like another server instance so you have to use mobile xterm or maybe the uh, terminal of linux so with remote ssh connection you can do that in vs code only and that is a really cool extension now ninth is github lens and github history it just makes uh, your code to check like how many code are uncommitted how many code is left to commit who committed last and you can do everything without even the any like command prompt you can just do pull push commit everything from this extension so these are two extensions like git lens and git history both have a different work but the same aim now then come framework extension so framework extension means in whatever framework you are using if you are using django then use the Django extension. If you are using the Python, use Python extension. If you are using like JavaScript, use JavaScript extension. If you are using React, use React extension. So these are my top 10 priority extension, which I will always use. Thank you for the video, guys.